guys, it's Luna. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got this little uh, deck in today and I thought I would show it to you. Um, I'd seen this in these stores recently and I was just like, ah, I don't know. It's kind of different than what I normally get. It's a little odd. I'm not sure if I would like it. And then um, I was watching a review yesterday of it and it's actually quite cute and I was quite surprised by it. Um, I think it was Lisa Popez's channel I was watching and she did a great review of it. So I thought I'd show it to you guys and uh, see what you thought of it. I actually found this one on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks and it had like one day shipping on it. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it comes in this little box with the cutouts, just a little clamshell box. And the inside is really cute. Um, it has a saying here, it says, and she promised to always be curious for its delightful wonder fueled her soul. I think that's pretty sweet. I like this, it almost looks like you can just reach in and pick up that stick there. And the um, inside of the box has a little um, QR code there and a little peacock feather. So it's just a nice and sturdy box with a little shell. And it comes with a, um, those are the edges if you're curious. It comes with a little guidebook. It's actually pretty thick. Um, it has um, descriptions. It says heads and tails and then the whole thing and then a little conversation. So it covers all the cards in here. I don't think there was any spreads in the back. Let me see. I didn't look up front. I haven't even gone through the deck yet. <laughs> I just got it in. Okay, path working. Okay, so it does have a couple of little spreads, heads or tails, so reverse or upright. And um, oh, if you take a picture of the uh, QR code with your smartphone, they'll walk you through path working with an audio tree. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, there's a couple of spreads, so interesting. Uh, this deck is by Chris Ann, who did the Light Sears and the Muse. And I think there was like a Sacred Creators deck she did. Um, she's, she's really good. When she came out with this, and like I said, I was a little shocked. I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But once you see them, once you actually see them, you kind of fall in love with them. I think they're very quirky and unique. So um, maybe you guys will like it too. The cardstock is matte. Um, I think this is produced by Hay House. Let's see. Where does it say? I think it was Hay House. Anyway, um, so it's really matte. It's, it's uh, not super thin, but it's not thick. Of course, you wouldn't expect that for a mass-produced deck. Um, these are the backs, very similar to the backs she usually does with the um, little like starburst here. Um, but it's like purple and red wings. Looks like wings with a little peacock feather. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to put these down one at a time for you guys. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit my shaky camera today. <laughs> All right, there we go. So um, here's our full. It's got a little dog leaping off the uh, cliff there. It's pretty cute. Uh, I think that's the only one in here that's not anamorph anamorph anamorphic. <laughs> um, anyway, so here is our uh, magician. Looks like a polar bear. And high priestess. And um, the other reviewer also mentioned that it's slightly um, skewed. It's not centered on the card. Um, hopefully that won't bother me too much. Um, but they do kind of bleed through the edges, like pieces of the art and stuff kind of go through. So it helps kind of detract from that. I don't think it was intentional for them to print it offset like that. But uh, I guess it was just an accident. But my deck is like that too, and hers was too. And yeah, the backs are off a little bit as well. So if it really bothers you, I suppose you could trim that side and then edge the corner again. Um, but you know, it is a mass market deck. It was only 20. It's really good quality, except for that little thing there. It's the only thing I've noticed is that it is a little bit off center. Um, here's the Empress, a little peacock. The Emperor is the walrus, which I think is adorable. With his little purple, it's like purple velvet suit. And uh, his little things, it's so cute. Then the Hierophants, the Lovers, those lovebirds. There's a little snake right there, an apple. Lots of little details in here. And then we have the Chariot, Strength, 
the Hermit. I like that one. That one's cute. A little rhino. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The African Grey Congo, I believe it is. I saw one of these in a pet store about ooh, 15 years ago. And uh, they had them out so you can kind of, you know, be like get to know them and all. And uh, I was petting its little beak and it did not like it and it bit the crap out my finger and wouldn't let go. <laughs> so that's my memory of those. But um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not much of a bird person, but uh, it was very cute anyway, except for the biting. <laughs> uh, the hangman is a bat. Then death. Oh, death is a vulture. Huh. And temperance. The devil. The devil's a goat. <laughs> How cute is that? And tower. The tower is a little lemur. Isn't that cute? I love the little striped socks. So cute. <clears throat> and then we have the star. The moon is a wolf. And a, there's a little crab right there. So cute. The sun. I'd love it if you guys told me what you think of this deck. Uh, after flip through down in the comments, just kind of let me know if you're digging it, what you think about it, if you've seen it, if you bought it, or whatever. Um, I just think it's really cute. There's also apparently a second full card, the full 2.0, I guess because the other one wasn't anamorphic like these are. Um, so they, she went back and maybe did this one. So, kind of cool. Same doggy, just different, different little body. Um, so then we go into the wands. It's like it looks like a leopard gecko, maybe. Paul holding that. I'm not sure. <laughs> the two of wands is a cat. I like the stripy socks in the heels there. And three of wands. The four of wands. It's one of those pink ones, I think. Five of wands. Hyenas. Jackals. Hyenas. The book tells you what's what, I believe. Um, six of Wands, Seven, the Wands, oh, it's a little turtle, <laughs> snapping turtle, I think, the Nine, our Ten of Wands, oh, it's like a little baboon, your page is a zebra, Knight, Iguana, Queen, it's a lion, lioness, <laughs> oh, and the King is a lion, so they're a little set. Interesting. Right, so that's our wands. Get these out of our way. And then we have our cups. <clears throat> I like the cups that she chose for this one. I like the shape of them, and I, I think they're different colors and all, from what I remember. Like I said, I haven't even went through these yet. I just opened it and got my camera out for you guys. So um, here we have our Ace of Cups. It's got a little like octopus tentacle in the water. I really like that. The two is our dolphin friends. Three. Little geckos, maybe? Lizards? Ah, very cute. Four of Cups. Look at the little rabbit. Oh, This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. Very cute. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, obviously. <laughs> uh, five of Cups. Looks like a little puffer fish, maybe? Six of Cups is the elephant. Seven of Cups. Oh, he looks so thoughtful. <laughs> little hound dog. Eight of Cups. A giraffe. Nine of Cups. This one I love. Look how cute. It's a little meerkat person. <laughs> um, ten of Cups. I like this one. A little hippo family with a puppy. And rainbow full uh, rainbow cups. I like that. I like that. And we have the page. The knight. I think that's a frog. The queen and the king. These are not a couple, but they live in the same area, so that's cool. Got a little fish down there. She's got a little pearl. Very cute. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the colors of these. I like the playfulness and the vibrancy and just the, you know, it's different. It's different. I like it. Here's some little acorns and a little, little wreath that you'd wear on your head. Your head. <laughs> then we have the two. The three. I think that's an ostrich. Number four is a sloth. How perfect is that? Four of swords is a sloth. Nice. 
Five of Swords, little cat and mouse. Six of Swords, the tortoise and the hare. Seven of Swords, ostrich, emu, I don't know. Cute though. Eight of Swords, the horse. Nine of Swords, I like this one too. Look at the little barn owl face. He's so cute, it looks so tearful. <laughs> the Ten of Swords, very cute. Page. It's a hummingbird. The knight. The queen is also a little barn owl. King, I believe that's a hawk. Maybe an eagle, bald eagle maybe. Then we're gonna move into the pentacles. So lush and so green. Look at that. The two. A little duck. Three, a bunch of cats. <laughs> Four, little piggy. Five is a little panda. Six is like a rooster, maybe. The seven is a little uh, squirrel. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love the style of clothes they're wearing too. There's a little like otter, I think. Look at that. Little pins. Can you hold her? So cute. And the nine is a brown bear with a snail and a um, hawk, I guess. And Ten of Pentacles is a little um, alligator family with a puppy. I think they're alligators. There is that. Is that a bush baby? I'm not sure. I really should read this first. The knight. Looks like a prairie dog, maybe. The Queen of Pentacles. I love this one with the um, the white steer, I guess. So cute. Or I think she said it was a Highland cow. I'm not sure. But I love it. I like the colors. I just love it. Queen of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards. And then the very last card is the King of Pentacles, which is a moose looking all regal in his big gold chair. And... Um, yeah, I just really like it. He's got these hanging off and all the little vines coming around and all. So, yeah, I, I think I really, really like this deck, um, surprisingly. Uh, I think they should have promoted it a little more because I really didn't know much about it when I saw it in the store. And just looking at the box, I was like, eh, I don't know about anamorphic um, tarot cards. But these are these are really cute, and uh, I'm quite digging them. But like I said, just let me know what y'all think of it. I'm, I'm interested to see if anyone else has gotten this deck and how it's reading for them. And, you know, just kind of what your thoughts are on it. So, let's move me back out here. But yeah, uh, I like it. I'm, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.